thank uh, Nalini and uh, Giorgio very much for invitation for this talk. So um, uh, I'll start uh, to uh, share uh, the screen. Uh, yes. Um, so you see my screen now, yeah? I, I forgot to introduce you. <laughs> okay, you can uh, Today we will have uh, Professor Yu Jin Zhang from Tsinghua University. And uh, this is the second talk for the uh, Asia Pacific online seminars. He will talk about special cubic hot integrals and uh, fractional Volterra hierarchies. I think it's uh, Professor Zhang, 15 minutes for your talk, and we will have about five minutes for discussion. Okay, uh, let's welcome. Okay, thank you. So, uh, so my talk will be uh, based mainly on the following references. So let me uh, explain what uh, these papers are doing. So first paper is with Boris, uh, Sichi Liu, Dinya, and uh, myself. Uh, on this, in this paper, we uh, define some integral, Hamiltonian integral hierarchies we call the Hodge hierarchy for any uh, semi-simple Frobenius manifold. So in the case of quantum cohomology, uh, some particular tall function of this uh, uh, integral hierarchy uh, gives the generating function for, for the uh, 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 intersection numbers of written classes together with the descendants and also uh, the ten classes of the Hodge bundles. And uh, so this uh, 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 integral hierarchy is just uh, a certain uh, generalization of, of the integral hierarchy uh, which controls the two-dimensional topological, uh, topological uh, 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 field theory. So uh, in the particular case, when the uh, Frobenius manifold is, uh, is one-dimensional, then this uh, uh, Hodge hierarchy is a, a certain deformation of the, the KDV hierarchy, which depends on uh, infinite many uh, uh, constant parameters. So, uh, and in this paper, we also make some uh, uh, conjectures on, uh, on this uh, uh, particular deformation of KDV hierarchy. When we choose some particular parameters, then uh, these, these deformations give some uh, uh, now, uh, well known integral hierarchies, which we see uh, appears uh, uh, the so called intermediate, intermediate long wave equations, and also the discrete KDV hierarchy, or called uh, the Rotella hierarchy. And then in the second uh, uh, paper, we uh, uh, study this particular case. So we consider the one dimension of Robinus manifold and we choose some particular parameters, choice of parameters. And then this uh, uh, deformation of the KDV hierarchy gives us a, a discrete KDV hierarchy. And also we, in this paper, prove this uh, connection. And uh, we also uh, establish some connection, uh, the connection of this uh, uh, discrete KDV uh, with this, uh, uh, and the Hodge integral of this so-called uh, the GUE uh, the matrix model. And then uh, in the third paper, we generalize all. So in the second case, in the discrete KDV case, we choose the parameters of the Hodge hierarchy, which depends on only one parameter. But if we general, generalize a little bit more, we uh, allow these uh, uh, parameters depend on two, three constants. Then we obtained uh, this, uh, 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 we, 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 we arrive at some integral hierarchy we call the fractional Volterra hierarchy. So which is also a generalization of the discrete KDV uh, hierarchy. So in this paper, we uh, uh, write down this uh, so-called fractional Volterra hierarchy and we make the conjecture that uh, the, this, the, uh, this, uh, uh, the tall function, the tall function uh, of this uh, fraction of Volterra hierarchy gives this, uh, gives the partition function of the Hodge integrals. So, and then in the fourth and the uh, fifth paper, we prove this conjecture. So let me explain what uh, is this uh, uh, integral hierarchy we are considering and what is the Hodge integrals. 
So uh, we start from the well known uh, 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 relations given by uh, uh, conjecture by Witten in the early 1990s uh, of last century, so which connect uh, 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 the intersection numbers on the model space with stable curves and uh, the in interval hierarchy, the KDV hierarchy. So uh, we consider uh, this M, GN, is a daily manifold model space of stable curves, so genus G, with N mark points. And on this model space, there are some uh, line bundles. We call it, uh, the topological line bundle or the, uh, called the quaternion line bundle, we denote by LK. For each mark points, they are uh, associated to this model space, uh, the, this line bundle LK. And we denote by psi k the first term class of the, this line bundle. And uh, then we can consider these uh, uh, intersection numbers, which is given by the, in, in, in the integration of this uh, 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 cohomology class psi on this uh, model space. And this integration uh, gives them rational numbers. We call these uh, intersection numbers. Then these numbers, we can uh, uh, group them together to make it uh, uh, into a generating function. For each this is in, uh, set of indices, I1 to IK, we put uh, uh, these uh, indeterminate parameters, TI1 to TIK, and then sum, sum up. We obtain the so-called genus G free energy, which is given by Witten to define uh, the uh, quantization of the uh, two-dimensional gravity. So this is the so-called genus G free energy. And we uh, 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 sum this uh, free, uh, 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 free energy F, F G, uh, by using uh, from this generic function. And uh, uh, this epsilon is called the string coupling constant. And then we uh, obtain this uh, so-called partition function of the 2D topological gravity, which is given by defined by Witten. And then Witten conjectured that this uh, WZ, we call the uh, Witten uh, K, we mean Pontevich, uh, is a particular tall function of the KDV hierarchy. This means that uh, if we, uh, uh, so this uh, Z depends on infinitely many parameters, T0, T1, and so on. And we choose the T1, T1, T0 is a particular uh, uh, parameter. We uh, identify it with uh, this uh, the special variable x, and we define uh, this function u, u, which is a function of x and t1, t2, and so on, by uh, take x derivative of, the, of this logarithm of the, uh, this partition function. So we obtain the function of inter infinitely many uh, 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 independent variables t, and uh, we, and then we can conjecture. So this uh, U is a solution of the uh, KDV hierarchy, the, which is uh, very uh, familiar, uh, which is described shallow water waves. So uh, T, uh, this U, along, the evolution around T0 just uh, uh, identifies this UX. And the U, the evolution of U along this T1 is given by this uh, uh, dimensional polynomial of U, uh, which is just the KDV equation. And then the next one, ut2, is a high order KDV equation, and so on. This is precisely what we are familiar with in the solid theory. So R is a recursion operator. So this is a very famous, famous uh, con written conjecture. And then it uh, is proved by, uh, some proved by Kontevich to 1992. And then later, there are uh, some several other uh, uh, proofs. Uh, given by Akon Kof, Pandali Panda, uh, using also Hobbes numbers and, uh, uh, and the matrix integrals, by uh, Miyazhani using the Riemann geometry of the module space, and also by uh, Gazzali and Lando using algebraic geometry method, using uh, the relation with Hodge integrals and uh, uh, Hobbes numbers and Hodge uh, uh, and the group with written invariants using the L, uh, LSV formula. We, we <clears throat> and also by Liu Xu using Miyazhani's uh, results. So uh, also in this written conjecture, there are also uh, uh, these uh, uh, facts 
saying that this, this protein function Z is annihilated, annihilated by a, a sequence of linear operators called the, called the Villasol operators, starting from L minus one, L zero, L one, and so on. So this uh, uh, L minus one, just corresponding to uh, the scaling symmetry of the KDV hierarchy. So the KDV hierarchy says, uh, no, not scaling, uh, I'm, uh, they're just uh, uh, corresponding to the so-called Galilean symmetry of the KDV uh, hierarchy. The KDV equation is invariant in the Galilean transformations. And then L0 is the so-called scaling uh, symmetries of the KDV hierarchy and so on. So this is a, is a, uh, uh, the well known Villasal symmetries corresponding to the, of the KDV hierarchy. So Witten also conjectured that this uh, w, uh, partition function given by uh, of the 2D topological gravity is, uh, uh, is con uh, satisfies the so-called Villasola constraints. So, so uh, this is uh, the well-known uh, results. And uh, uh, the KDV hierarchy that uh, we are familiar with, it also have some uh, more aspects uh, which is important for our uh, uh, understanding and also very important for its solution to solve this KDV hierarchy by the so-called inverse scattering method. So it's given by the so-called Lux pair, uh, Lux equation. So this KDV equation is related to the shielding operator L and uh, uh, this uh, the KDV hierarchy can be represented by this uh, in terms of this uh, operator L using this Lux equation. And also this KDV hierarchy we know is also a Hamiltonian system, consists of Hamiltonian systems. Each floor is a Hamiltonian, infinite dimension Hamiltonian system with Hamiltonian operator DDX and some uh, Hamiltonian, uh, uh, Hamiltonians HK, which is given by some the density of some differential polynomials. Uh, we have H0, H1, and so on. We can write down uh, using actually by Hamiltonian recursion relations. By the, to fix this HK. And also, it's very important that uh, we, uh, in the previous uh, pages, we have mentioned this, uh, the tau function of KDV hierarchy. So the tau function of KDV hierarchy can be defined in this way. So uh, the Hamiltonian densities uh, have some freedom to choice. Uh, you can choose these uh, densities by adding some uh, total X derivatives, which do not affect uh, the Hamiltonian equations. But if you choose appropriately these uh, densities, then uh, these densities as the functions of u and ux as different polynomials of u, you can consider these evolutions along this uh, t l floor t l. Then you find that uh, you can uh, choose these densities so that this uh, 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 expression, which depends on the index k and l, are symmetric. Symmetric with k and l, you can exchange this l and k. We obtain the same result. So this we call the tall symmetry condition. And you, by using this tall symmetry condition, we can uh, define some differential polynomials with denote by omega, omega k L, uh, and L. So depending on these two indices, k and L. So this is, is a differential polynomial by using the evolution of the KDV flows. And then uh, you find that uh, this uh, uh, can be written as x derivative of some different polynomials, not you know, by omega k n and l. Uh, due to this uh, symmetry condition, this k and l, omega k and l, is equal to omega l and k. Then by using this relation, we call the tall structure of the KDV hierarchy, we can define for each solution of the KDV hierarchy, uh, u, x, u, u, x, t. Then we can define a tall function, we can know by tall as, as a function of x and the, the time variables t1, t2, and so on. So that this logarithm of tall, you take the second derivatives with respect to tk and to tl, obtain, we obtain this omega, k and l, after substitute this u with this, this particular solution, u, x, t. So this is uh, uh, the general definition of uh, a tall function for the Hamiltonian integral hierarchy. You, you can define all it in this way. And in particular, if you choose uh, k and l equal to zero, 
Then we return back to the relation that we used to define this U. Uh, so, so this U, uh, if uh, uh, we, we, we use this U, then uh, this U and the tau is, is precisely given by this relation. If we replace Z by this tau. So, uh, uh, Witten's conjecture uh, uh, and uh, now Witten's conservative theorem says that uh, the partition function uh, of two dimensional topological gravity is a particular tau function of the KDV hierarchy, uh, which is specified by the string equation. So, we have many tau functions of the KDV hierarchy. Each uh, solution of the KDV hierarchy gives the tau function. And if we uh, require them, this is additional conditions that this tau function satisfies the string equation, so that which is given by the first uh, uh, equation by just using this uh, k to minus one, then uh, this tau function is uniquely fixed. So this tau function is selected by the string equation. So this means that two D topological gravity is controlled by the KDV hierarchy. So this is what the, uh, the relation. Uh, between uh, two-dimensional gra uh, two-dimensional gravity, or more general two-dimensional topological field theory and uh, uh, integral hierarchy. So this uh, kind of relation can be uh, uh, generalized to more general uh, to the topological gravity coupled with this matter. We, uh, cons we can consider more general two-dimensional topological field theory, and uh, uh, which is uh, can be. Uh, characterized by so certain uh, so-called floor-penis manifold structure. So starting from any semi-simple floor-penis manifold, we can construct uh, some uh, integral hierarchy. So Hamiltonian species, Hamiltonian systems, and also uh, they uh, also possess a second Hamiltonian structure we call by Hamiltonian structure. So this is uh, uh, the uh, general, uh, more general uh, case. And in this uh, construction, starting from a uh, uh, Frobenius manifold, or starting from a uh, two dimensional uh, topological field theory to, to integral hierarchies, we do in this way. We starting from the so called genus zero case, or starting from the uh, dispositionist hierarchy. And then we construct uh, the deformation of the dispositionist uh, integral hierarchy to obtain the four general uh, disposition four uh, integral hierarchy. So in this case of the two dimensional topological gravity, we starting from the genus zero uh, free energy, and we form this uh, two point function V, Vxt, which can be written down explicitly. And then this V satisfies the dispositionist KDV hierarchy, write down it. And then starting from this one, we, uh, we can construct uh, uh, this uh, high general uh, free energies, Fg. And it is uh, uh, a fact that uh, this Fg, the free energy, genus G free energy, is originally the function of x, uh, t0, t1, t2, and so on. It depends on infinitely many uh, variables, independent variables. But uh, you find we find that uh, you find that this uh, Fg can be reorganized. You can reorganize in this way. You can write it as a function v first, v and the x derivative is v and so on. And then v, the dependence of uh, t, uh, uh, of Fg on t is given by the dependence of, uh, of v on t using this relation. So if we substitute the v into this uh, uh, expression, then you can obtain, you obtain the free energy Fg. So, so now uh, this means that we can uh, uh, represent this uh, Fg, the free energy free energy, by using a function of uh, uh, Fg, which depends on finite many variables. So, and then this function 2.2, uh, for general two point function u, can be written as a function v plus some uh, uh, additional function v. So this uh, this actually gives a, a transformation between v and uh, u. You see, if you know this relation, this evolution of v along this tk, or the, this evolution of function a equation, this portion is KDV, right? Then you know the evolution of this u 
the, around this tk. And you can write down the equation uh, satisfied by, by this function u. So uh, actually this should be the KDV hierarchy. So now starting from the genus zero uh, information, you need to find this FG, this function. And this function uh, we can find by using uh, the Villasola constraints. Or in other uh, uh, language, if you, we, we are familiar with the uh, uh, Villasola symmetries of the KDV hierarchy. And also we know this, uh, this, this portion is KDV hierarchy have these Villasola symmetries. Then uh, these Villasola symmetries can be uh, uh, represented by uh, this Villasola operator. And also by using this top function of the disposition is KDV hierarchy. And then, then but this, this uh, representation of this Villasola symmetry of the disposition is KDV hierarchy uh, is, cannot be uh, uh, represented as a linear action of some operators on this top function of the disposition is KDV hierarchy. But for the KDV hierarchy, we find that uh, the uh, uh, Villasola constraints of, the, uh, of this uh, 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 pattern function uh, of the 2D topological gravity can be represented as, uh, as a linearization of the Villasola symmetries of the KDV hierarchy. This means if you write down this uh, 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 rapid evolution of this uh, evolution equation in terms of U, or in terms of uh, tau function of KDV hierarchy, then the Villasola symmetries of the disposition is KDV hierarchy can be represented as a linear action of this, uh, of this uh, uh, Villasola operators on the tau function of the KDV hierarchy. So in terms of U, the evolution, the uh, vector fields of this Villasola symmetries can be represented in this form. So this is because the so-called uh, linearization of the Villasola symmetries of the, of the KDV hierarchy. So this uh, uh, condition is very strong actually. This gives a, a, a so-called loop equation for the function f1, f2, and so on. Uh, I'm sorry, this we can, we should have a bracket here, not uh, this. Uh, the f2 depends only on this vector, uh, five, five independent, independent variables. Uh, so uh, this loop equation of the linearization of the Villasola symmetries, so then they fix this Fg almost uniquely, uh, namely they fix the gradients of this Fg. So for example, we can find this F1 can be written down in terms of Vx, and F2 can be written down in terms of v, uh, Vx, and so up to the fourth x derivative of V. So this and so on we can find this uh, F1, F2 recursively. So in this way, uh, we fix this Fg, and we fix, uh, uh, so this is uh, the general, uh, we call the loop equation for the KDV hierarchy. So uh, by using this loop equation, in this loop equation, we have this uh, three parameter uh, lambda. So if you uh, expand this uh, uh, equation as a, a power uh, series in one over V minus lambda, and you compare the uh, various powers of this uh, one over v minus lambda, this vector, then uh, this monomial, then we can find the sequences of equations for, uh, for, for f1, f2, and so on. We call loop equations. So we can solve it recursively. So uh, 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 now uh, we know this fg in, as a function v and vx and so on. Then we use, we know this relation, we call the quasi-Muller transformation. And we know the evolution of the function u, uh, function v along this tk. Then we know this evolution of u along this tk, and we obtain this KDV hierarchy. So this is a, a general way uh, how to construct uh, an integral hierarchy or uh, a hierarchy with uh, evolutionary PDEs starting from the genus zero part of a uh, two-dimensional uh, topological field theory. Uh, this is, can be, this is for the particular case of two-dimensional topological gravity, and we can generalize it, generalize it to more general case. So consider uh, integral hierarchy from uh, of 2D topological, uh, 2D, uh, two-dimensional topological gravity, uh, uh, two-dimensional topological field theory. So, now, uh, let, now let, let us consider more general, to generalize this setting. 
uh, we consider uh, uh, so-called uh, the whole gene growth instead of only the chromobitum invariants or the interse intersection numbers on the model space. So uh, previously, we already introduced the uh, notation psi k, the psi class on the model space of the ball of curves. So this is uh, uh, for some class of the uh, case tautological line bundle LK uh, on this model space. And now this model space we have as a, a, a core module class, uh, we, 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 we now consider this lambda G. So on this uh, model space, we have this so-called Hodge bundles. On each uh, uh, fiber of this Hodge bundle is given by, uh, by the uh, space of uh, uh, holomorphic differential forms uh, of the curve, because this model space is uh, uh, the model space for algebraic curves. And uh, then we consider it's, it's this rank G uh, 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 bundle. Then we can, we can uh, consider this JS uh, chain classes of this uh, Hodge bundle, we denote by lambda J. And we also can use this uh, so-called chain characters of the Hodge bundles, which are uh, polynomials of this chain class lambda J. And now uh, we consider the uh, so-called Hodge integrals. So in the previous, uh, we consider inter intersection numbers with psi class. We only consider uh, these uh, intersection numbers. Now we can also consider this uh, mix this uh, uh, psi class and also this lambda class, uh, uh, the uh, chain class of the Hodge bundles. Uh, then we consider this uh, integration of this this uh, cohomology class on the model space. We again obtain some relational numbers. So we call these numbers the Hodge integral. And these numbers, can, we can also uh, form some generic functions for these uh, uh, Hodge integrals. And uh, for, for convenience, we use, uh, instead of this uh, uh, directory, this chain class, this lambda j, we use the chain characters, gamma j, to form a generic function. So uh, for this psi class, we use, uh, as before, we use t, t i, t1, uh, t0, t1, and so on to uh, uh, mark uh, these classes, psi classes. And now for this gamma classes, we use this uh, new indeterminants with you know, by S, S1 and S2 and so on to uh, mark this uh, gamma class. And then we form this uh, function, generating function. We denote by HG, we call the uh, Hodge potential, genus G Hodge potential. So if we uh, put this s all this s equal to, uh, equal to zero, then we obtain we return to uh, to the uh, intersection form of the psi classes, and also we return to the uh, generic function or generic function uh, of free energy for the topological two D topological uh, gravity. And now we can also form this uh, partition function as uh, we uh, sum this uh, F H G together we call this genus expansion form, uh, then uh, takes exponential, we obtain this uh, partition function uh, for the Hodge integrals. Now, uh, uh, as, you, as before, we, uh, we have this partition function of the free, uh, for general free energy. We then uh, consider the two-point function, a particular two-point function, we denote by u, again by u. Now, in this u, depend not only on t, but also on uh, 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 extra parameter t, s. So it's also a function of epsilon. So uh, then uh, we can also consider the evolution of this u along this t. So what happens, uh, can we find some uh, evolutionary PDE that controls this function u? Uh, so the, the, the result is, uh, is given by uh, our uh, the first paper that I list on the first page given by the drawing, Si uh, Qi and Yang in 2016. Uh, we consider general case, but for the particular, particular case of one dimensional Fonobinsky manifold, we obtained uh, the result is that uh, this U, again, satisfies a, a family of partial differential equations. And this partial differ differential equations, the rule of S uh, uh, enters the parameters of these equations. So they are Hamiltonian systems, uh, and they are uh, 
commu material committed to you, so that uh, they give the integral hierarchy. And also, each uh, hierarchy, this hierarchy, integral hierarchy, has a tau function. You can define this density Hamiltonian so that they satisfy the tau symmetry conditions. And so we can define the tau function for this uh, hierarchy. So they, they possess the tau functions. So, uh, so in this way, we obtain the, uh, the so called integral hierarchy that controls the Hodge integrals. So, so uh, uh, but this is a hierarchy, you can view it as a, uh, as a deformation of the KDV hierarchy. So, because in, if you switch off this uh, parameter S, put S1 equal to zero, uh, S2 equal to, and S2, S, S3, all of them are equal to zero. Uh, then uh, here I have, maybe I have some uh, mistake here. I should have uh, this S, not S3, but S2. So uh, for example, this, uh, uh, when uh, we consider this uh, 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 T1 evolution, then this equation uh, gives you, sorry. So that might, okay. So uh, this, uh, uh, this this evolution equation is a deformation of KDV. You see, uh, if we put s one, s two, s three, uh, s one, s two equal to zero, then we obtain this uh, random KDV equation, and also we obtain the four KDV hierarchy. But uh, if we keep this s s one, s two, and three, and so on, then we obtain certain deformations of KDV hierarchy. So uh, uh, one conjecture of our uh, we give in, the, in this paper is that uh, this uh, uh, integral hierarchy, deformation of the KDV hierarchy, has certain universality condition uh, uh, property, meaning that if you we consider uh, the all possible deformation of the KDV hierarchy, that uh, so that uh, the deformed integral hier hierarchy is still integral, integrable, and uh, is a Hamiltonian system. Uh, each floor is a Hamiltonian system. And also, we require that uh, the deformed uh, uh, integral hierarchy has a tau function. Then uh, uh, we obtain this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, deformation uh, considering this, uh, 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 considered by, given by the Hodge uh, integrals. So this Hodge int integrals, this integral hierarchy uh, uh, controls the Hodge integrals gives all possible uh, deformation of KDV hierarchy that uh, 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 preserves the uh, uh, integrability condition, preserves the Hamiltonian structure, uh, Hamiltonian property, and also the tau function. So this uh, 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 still is a conjecture. Uh, we do not uh, have uh, uh, best now uh, how to prove it now. Uh, then uh, what we consider now uh, is um, uh, in, my, in this talk and also in, uh, uh, in the papers that are the list in the first page, uh, the second to fifth paper, we consider some particular choice of these uh, parameters S1, S2, and so on, so that uh, we, we hope to obtain some familiar uh, inter integral hierarchies that appear in solid theory. So uh, uh, what we do is to choose these uh, 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 parameters in some special way. So uh, uh, now let me explain what, the way, uh, what is our choice and what we obtain uh, for this uh, integral hierarchy. So uh, if we cho our choice is, uh, uh, so there are many choices. One choice we obtain so the so-called linear Hodge integrals, which gives us an uh, in intermediate runaway equation. And this relation is uh, 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 proved and discovered by uh, Bouliac. And uh, uh, what we, our choice now is to choose this uh, uh, case SG uh, by uh, using this formula. We allow this SG to depend on only two parameters, P and Q, uh, three parameters, uh, P, Q, and R, and in this way. Then, uh, then, then the, uh, the Hodge uh, generative, generative function, the Hodge integral, can be organ reorganized in this form. So here, this C uh, is uh, CZ is uh, the so-called uh, ten polynomial, so the Hodge bundle uh, uh, formed by this ten class lambda j C. And uh, uh, so, uh, because uh, in this in, in integration, 
uh, there are only uh, a PS3 uh, chain polynomial. So we call uh, such kind of uh, Hodge integrals uh, uh, cubic Hodge integrals. And we also require that uh, these parameters PQR is not dependent. Uh, we require that th these parameters satisfy the so-called local color bio condition, uh, which is very uh, uh, natural uh, uh, when uh, people consider uh, uh, the, the localization method to compute uh, a group moving invariance, then this uh, local collaborator condition appears naturally. So we also impose this condition. So then we call this uh, cubic Hodge integrals, uh, they call the so-called special cubic Hodge integrals. Special means that uh, they uh, these parameters PQR satisfies this uh, uh, local collaborator condition. And now we de denote uh, this uh, 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 generic, uh, this partition function for the cubic Hodge integrals by z cubic. So we obtain this function. And uh, now let me explain what uh, is our uh, integral hierarchy, uh, how to uh, uh, relate this uh, uh, partition function with some uh, non-integral hierarchy. Or uh, in some inter integral hierarchy that we can describe clearly. So for this, we introduce some uh, in the index sets. So uh, our parameters uh, uh, depend on actually uh, depend on two free parameters p and q. So we uh, denote by i one this set by uh, mo uh, integer multi uh, multiples of uh, p, and uh, i two given by integer multiples of k or q. Q, and uh, this uh, we did not uh, this uh, these two in the in, in indexes may have intersections. We did not by i this their 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 union, and we introduce uh, so originally we have this uh, uh, time uh, variable t i, so then we using this t i we introduce some new variables. We use uh, this capital T mu. The index is the, uh, uh, comes from this i the set i, and a x. Then we uh, require that ti is related to this x, the uh, capital T, uh, uh, by using this uh, relation. And uh, we also denote some, uh, define some uh, quadratic uh, polynomials uh, of t, of this t mu and t, capital T, and we denote by uh, capital A. Then we, we can uh, write, uh, define a new partition function z given by the original cubic uh, partition function of cubic Hodge integrals, special cubic Hodge integrals, by substitute this uh, variable t in terms of uh, capital T and x. Yeah. And uh, then we rescaling this uh, uh, string uh, coupling constant epsilon. And then we define this uh, two-point correlation function. Uh, actually, it's, uh, you can write uh, this uh, capital lambda is uh, the shift operator along this x variable. And uh, uh, we take this uh, two factors gives dx square plus something. So this is a generalization of our uh, previous definition of the two, uh, uh, two point correlation function, u. So, uh, so in this way, we obtain this function u. And uh, uh, the result, the claim is that uh, this function u uh, is uh, uh, a solution of the so-called fractional Volterra hierarchy. So this fraction of Taylor hierarchy is uh, represented uh, by this uh, last operator L given by the shift operator lambda one over p plus lambda one over uh, minus uh, minus one over q, and this uh, potential appear here. So this is a function uh, last operator of u L uh, uh, depending on this function u, and we have, we have this last equations uh, uh, for these two index sets. So when mu index belongs to I1, we have this definition of the last equation. And when mu belongs to I2, we have this last equation. So uh, uh, this is what we uh, call the fraction of the hierarchy. And uh, our uh, theorem is that uh, uh, this uh, uh, function z, the partition function, is a particular top function of this uh, fraction of the hierarchy. And then uh, we have this, uh, uh, we can write down some uh, examples. For example, if we take a mu 
equal belong to the first index set I1, k equals to 1, uh, this is equal to p, then we can write down this uh, operator L and uh, write down this equation. Uh, this, this actually is a, is a discrete uh, uh, equation in the special variable. And when if we take a, a mu belong to the second index set and take a k again equals to one, then we obtain the mu equals to q, and we obtain this equation from the uh, last equation. So, so for the particular case when p and q equal to one, then we obtain this uh, uh, these two equations uh, for this page is equation for this page and uh, it's the equation for this one. They are coincide. So they uh, they give us uh, precisely the so-called Wotella equation or the discrete KDV equation. So uh, in what in in our uh, paper for uh, Hot GUE paper, we we consider it's precisely this case when p and q equals to one, we obtain this Wotella or discrete KDV highlight for the uh, special cubic Hot integrals. So this is uh, the well-known Wotella. Uh, 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 equation. Yeah. So uh, uh, let me explain how to prove this uh, theorem. So uh, our proof, uh, 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 we use this uh, heavily this uh, Villasola symmetries of the uh, uh, Wotella hierarchy, and also the uh, Villasola constraints for the Hodge integral. So we first describe uh, what is the Villasola, uh, Villasola constraint for for the Hodge integrals, and then uh, uh, we 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 uh, then uh, we show that we, this Villasola uh, constraints fix uniquely this high general free energy for the Hodge integrals, and then for 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 the fraction of Taylor hierarchy, we we show that uh, there is a particular uh, uh, solution for the uh, fraction of Taylor hierarchy, so that it's uh, Tau function, the corresponding tau function satisfies the same Villasola constraints. So this uh, fixes uniquely also this tau function. And uh, because the uniqueness uh, of the Villasola uh, condition uh, fixes uh, uh, tau function, then we uh, identify uh, this uh, uh, partition function of the fraction of Terra. Uh, of the whole integrals uh, is just a particular top function of the fraction of the hierarchy. So uh, uh, let me ma briefly mention uh, this uh, uh, Villasola constraints for for the Hodge integrals. So uh, this uh, the Villasola constraints of Hodge integrals actually can be derived from the Villasola constraints of the of the uh, potential function for the two D topological gravity given by Witten. So uh, Fab and uh, Pandre Panda uh, established this uh, relation for Hodge integrals and uh, the Gromovitian invariance. So in, in a particular case, uh, this Hodge integral z, z cubic, can be related by uh, to the z uh, with, con with conservation, this particular function, by the action of this operator, uh, g. G is uh, given by this uh, many operators uh, for this uh, Time variables t j. So by using this relation, we can uh, write down the Villasola uh, constraints for for the Hodge integrals. We define this uh, uh, L m cubic by the conjugation of the uh, uh, Villasola constraints for for two D topological gravity L k d v. And then actually uh, uh, we obviously obtain the commutation relations for this L cubic. And also, we obtain this uh, Villasola constraints for the Z cubic. But uh, uh, this operator is actually is quite complicated. If you try to write down uh, this uh, uh, L cubic, this uh, Villasola operators, you 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 find it's very difficult to uh, write down ex explicitly this uh, general expression. So we need to make some uh, 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 modification for this uh, Villasola operators. What we do is to choose some linear combination. Our first step is to make some linear combination of this uh, L cubic uh, Villasola operators. 
And then uh, we find that if we define this Vera solar operator starting from uh, index m uh, equal to zero, then this Vera solar operator still satisfies this Vera solar commutation relations. And of course, this, uh, uh, they, these Vera solar operators still annihilate, annihilate this uh, uh, cubic uh, partition function uh, for cubic Hodge integrals. Yeah. But uh, this Vera operator still is not uh, uh, simple in terms of the uh, variable t. So now we uh, uh, make a, a further modifica modification. We uh, put uh, these uh, uh, time variables. We write down these Vera operator operators in terms of not in terms of so not in terms uh, in terms of small t i, but uh, instead we use the capital T capital T mu to write down uh, to express this uh, uh, expression for the solar operators. And we also make a small modifications by conjugate some, uh, by uh, make some conjugation using this uh, quadratic function A, capital A, that I explained before. So we obtain this Vera solar operators LM. Now these operators can be write down explicitly in terms of this capital T uh, in an uh, explicit way. So this is the uh, surveillance solar operators, and this is a, a crucial step in our proof. So we prove that this surveillance solar operator has this expression. And uh, then uh, we, uh, uh, our, uh, the next theorem shows that uh, this Hodge potential, this uh, uh, generic function for the Hodge, uh, cube, special cubic uh, cube Hodge integrals, uh, has a genus expansion form. They can be written down as uh, the summation of uh, this uh, genus uh, G free energy. And this genus, genus G free energy, Ft can be represented in terms of two special uh, genus zero two point functions V. And then this uh, Z satisfies the Vila solar constraints. This Vila solar constraints lead to the so-called loop equation, which fixes this Ft uh, up to the linear uh, uh, some constants, and also this uh, this particular uh, uh, this partition function z also satisfies the so-called Dirichlet equation. So these conditions actually fix this uh, uh, z uh, partition function uniquely by using this condition, uh, these Vilasova constraints, and this also the so-called Dirichlet equation. Okay. Then the proof uh, we can, uh, so uh, what uh, we, we, we want to can prove uh, the theorem, the, uh, the, the relation of this Hodge perfection hotel hierarchy and Hodge integrals, we, we, this, we have already have this side. So the next uh, step is to prove that uh, the fraction of hotel hierarchy uh, also uh, possess a tall function, we did not buy tall top which satisfies the uh, uh, same Vila solar constraints and also the Dirichlet equation, and also has uh, the uh, genus expansion uh, expression. And for this particular choice, for the special choice of the, of the parameters P and Q, so we, here we did not uh, uh, require the P and Q relational numbers. And for more general PQ, any complex numbers PQ, to obtain the results, we uh, we need to we can use some uh, certain continuation arguments to prove this general case. So this is uh, the uh, the the, uh, the, the constraint for the Hodge, uh, Hodge uh, side Hodge integral sides. Now let me explain uh, what is the fraction of Taylor hierarchy. So the fraction fraction of Taylor hierarchy we can uh, define it uh, by using our general the uh, 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 familiar method of pseudo uh, differential operators. So uh, we can uh, uh, consider the pseudo linear differential polynomials given by this form. And uh, we have this on this differential, uh, uh, on this link A, we have this uh, uh, shift operator defined this by this, uh, this expansion uh, from, uh, in power, from power series. Then we have this, uh, this shift operator, we can define uh, any power of complex numbers, lambda mu. 
and uh, we can define certain uh, uh, linear fraction of pseudo difference operators by using this uh, shield operator. And uh, we can define uh, for any uh, 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 pseudo difference operator L, we can define its uh, fractional power by using, uh, uh, using the Baker Campbell Hostel uh, uh, formula. Uh, we can first define its logarithm. Then define its power, uh, fraction power by using its logarithm. Uh, takes uh, takes the exponential, and uh, by using this uh, in this way, we can uh, we can uh, uh, find that uh, this uh, operator have the logarithm of this form, and its power uh, uh, fraction of power of e mu e u times this uh, lambda gamma is given by this uh, formula. So in this way, we can define uh, uh, this logarithm of L and uh, its uh, fraction of power. So in particular, if we choose uh, such kind of particular form of uh, a like, uh, pseudo differential operator L, then we can define its fraction of power uh, and also define this uh, 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 last equations. So this is uh, we, uh, what we obtain. We have already uh, um, uh, mentioned for this. Uh, Lux equations for the fraction of Taylor hierarchy. So it depends on uh, two sets of uh, index i1 and i2. So this is what uh, we define. And uh, then uh, this hierarchy, we can show that it's uh, uh, integral, integral, integral Hamiltonian systems. Uh, the Hamiltonian operator we can write down explicitly with Hamiltonians. Uh, given by the residues of this fraction of powers or L, uh, as in the, uh, uh, we, we see in the usual case. And it has a, a, a tall, tall structure, meaning that we can define certain two point function omega in terms of, the, of this uh, fraction of uh, L, uh, last operator L. And we can define this tall function of this fraction of Taylor hierarchy. Then uh, we, uh, we, we can find this, uh, uh, we need to fix this uh, 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 particular tau function to, uh, to, 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 to match it with the partition function Hodge integrals. So we need to find some particular initial value uh, uh, problem of this uh, particular solution of fraction of tail hierarchy. Uh, uh, using actually the string equations, the uh, Galilean symmetry uh, to fix uh, this uh, uh, initial uh, condition. We, we can find uh, that the, this initial uh, uh, function satisfies some ODEs uh, given by this uh, uh, difference equation. And, uh, and uh, this uh, uh, particular function uh, we call u denote by u top is given by this, uh, this function u. Yeah. And then uh, we, we can find that we can uh, prove this theorem saying that uh, for this particular solution, then the tau function, the logarithm tau function is particular solution has a genus expansion and it satisfies the Villasola constraints and the deleting equation. So in this way, we uh, prove that uh, uh, this uh, uh, tau function uh, satisfies the same Condition as for for the partition function of the Hodge integrals. So this means that uh, this tau function is a particular tau function. Uh, particular uh, this uh, the, the partition function of the Hodge integrals is a particular tau function of the fraction of the hierarchy. So oh, this is what I want to explain to you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Zhang, thank you for your wonderful talk. Are there any questions, <laughs> comments? Yes, I have okay. a question. Yes. Uh, okay, you first. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, so I was wondering if you could just explain a little bit more how you got the, uh, the step, the iteration operator from this context. Uh, you went from something that was continuous for the yeah. KDV hierarchy to something with the discrete step for the Volterra yeah. or the uh, discrete KDV hierarchy. And I wanted to try and understand a little bit better 
what that um, operation is that gives you the step in terms of the geometry. Uh, I didn't quite understand that. Yeah, you see, uh, let me explain. So we have made some linear combinations, you see. And uh, you see the KDV hierarchy is, uh, the leading term is given by the power, so, uh, or U, yeah? We can, we, we, we look at the, the dispersion is KDV. So uh, the evolution V along the TK equals to V, K power, so V, and then multiply by Vx. And then we find that um, uh, it is related to the discrete KDV somehow. The leading term of the square KDV is uh, given by the exponential of e, e, uh, v, uh, e to the k power of k times v. So in this way, we realize that if we want to uh, relate this uh, deformation KDV hierarchy with the discrete KDV hierarchy or the Voltaire hierarchy, we need to make, a, 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 we need to sum up this uh, uh, formula of VC. Yeah, so this, in this way, we have ten exponential, and then we have ten this uh, uh, shift operator. I see. So the shift operator is interpreted as the exponential of yes, yes. an infinite number of, um, uh, so like a neg like the Taylor expansion of the exponential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Read, read. Do you have a question? Read, yeah. No. Yeah. You have to unmute, Ray. Yeah, yes. You have to unmute. Yeah. I saw you raise your hand. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just uh, saw one. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> uh, Actually, I have uh, several questions. <laughs> this, this one question is, uh, you have a whole hierarchy, and this hierarchy looks like a combination of the whole KDV hierarchy. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is so combined. Yeah, you're right. Oh. The second question is, uh, do you have fractional uh, Volterra? equation or hierarchy and can you discretize the t the time and then you can get uh, maybe a, a fully discrete or fully fractional discrete kdv hierarchy can you have what can you, you mean the, uh, can, can, you, can you discretize the time uh, no, no no i don't know how, uh, how to describe time because uh, uh, this uh, uh, T we, is continuous always in our case. Because you you uh, you keep the T continue. Yeah. Or you want to keep the the Hamiltonian structure or something. The T is always continuous. We only mm. describe uh, describe this uh, special variable x. Mm. Any more questions? So uh, we're just on time, it's 11 o'clock <laughs> in Beijing time, <laughs> in Beijing time. So I pass the, uh, the chair to Giorgio. It, do you have any information for next talk, Giorgio? Uh, yes, so next talk will be in exactly two weeks time. So the uh, 4th of August, I can check, but that should be Yes, exactly. That the four, exactly on the fourth of August, uh, same time, of course, in our time zone, and we will have speaking uh, uh, Dr. Marquette from the University of uh, Queensland. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, more or less, I think uh, that's it for the moment. I greatly appreciate the participation. I saw like a top peak of another 20 participants, which is really nice to see. And because as I said before, it's far beyond my mailing list. So again, yeah. if everyone wants to join, they can just send an email 
to my email address and I will add them to the to the mailing list and they will be keep kept informed of this uh, of the upcoming seminars and uh, well that, that that's more or less that's it and and can i just remind everyone to broadcast these seminars to your local networks um, so that we get um, as much participation as possible in this geographic zone where we share very common time zones thank you very much and thank you very much professor young for a wonderful talk thank you nalini so i'll send my slides to jojo thank you, Good. Thank you. and when the recording is available it'll be posted up onto youtube yes and uh, with the, this one will arrive with the next uh, with, the, with the announcement of the next uh, of the next seminar we will have the link to the youtube page and uh, and the zoom link for the next meeting good i'll stop recording now okay me too thank you